Oh, is that the man carrying the boulder? Oh my god, that is the coolest shot I've ever seen. How's it going everybody? My name is Swanee and welcome back to another video. Okay, so in the last video we reacted to episode 10 and 11. Both episodes were actually really really good and I'm really pleased with the fact that Armin kind of stepped up, gained some confidence, kind of carried his own weight. Back in episode 2 I believe, he gave Reiner his bag and I felt like that was a really good representation of him not being able to pull his weight and he eventually ended up taking back his bag. And I feel like that's a good analogy for what, you know, happened in the last uh, two episodes was, you know, Armin was kind of off to the side a bit and he was able to convince Pixis that, you know, his plan could actually work and he did it through an amazing speech. It was so moving and I think, I think the part that moved me the most or I think the fact that moved me the most was the fact that, you know, all this time Armin thought that he was a hindrance on Eren and Mikasa and Armin kind of stepped up and came out of his shell, which was really, really nice to see. And then in episode 11, Pixis joins the fight, uh, Pixis joins the mix, as I said, and he's willing to hear out Aaron and Armin, and Armin and Pixis came up with a plan to plug the hole in Trost, and unfortunately, Aaron went into his Titan form and immediately just lost control, turned around and hit the building Mikasa was standing on. But yeah, I have no idea what to expect. We're still in the Battle of Trost, so it's going to be a continuation of... The last episode. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into episode 12. Oh my God, dude, what are you doing? Oh my God, she's dead ass standing right on him. She's trying to knock some sense into him. Oh my God. Yeah, Aaron has no idea what he's doing right now. Lost every ounce of control. Just freaking knocked his own head off. So Pixis really wants to squeeze every ounce out of this mission. I mean, yeah. This is like their golden egg, man. This is the first time they've ever had anything like this, so... Yeah, they're kind of realizing that this is the first foothold they've ever had against the Titans, and, you know, I have to agree with Pixis that you should squeeze every ounce of this out as you possibly can. No. I don't know. I don't know, Mikasa. I think you might love him a bit. Yeah, we still don't really know the specifics of the Titan form. Like, everything is speculation. It's crazy cool though how he's just chilling in there and how all that tissue is attached to him. Its tongue is just hanging out. That's crazy. So Aaron's like in a trance when he's in the Titan. Dang, she had some power behind that. Hmm. Oh my god, Armin be so careful. Oh, it hit him. Oh my god. Dude, Armin is so ballsy for that. Oh, did he hit him in the arm? Oh, 
Aaron, you gotta wake up, dude. Oh, he's remembering a little bit. Ooh, I got a little bit of chills going. Oh my god. His gear is jamming up. You're joking. Oh my god. You guys gotta go down there and save him. Well, get down there and see, man. Oh my god. Please don't kill off Jean like this. What a real friend, man. Armin's a real one. Oh man, the music. Let's go. Nice. Let's go, Aaron. Wake up. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, so that was episode 12. I'm shocked but not shocked that Armin was able to actually get through to him. Um, I'm not shocked because, you know, Armin and Aaron go way back. Like, they suffered the same traumas. And, you know, they've been together ever since. But I'm also surprised because, like, does that mean that Aaron thinks more of Armin than Mikasa? Because Mikasa was, like, on top of his head, trying to get through to him. But maybe, maybe it was just because Aaron was knocked down and he was immobile that Armin was able to get through to him. Could also be that Armin's blade stab through the arm, you know, kind of, like, stimulated his human body. Um, it could be that Armin's words are Aaron's, you know, conviction. Like, his life goal and his dream to, like, exterminate the Titans and, you know, to leave beyond the walls and see what's out there. You know, it could be the words that woke him up. It could be a mix of all of them. That episode didn't have a whole lot to react to, you know. Obviously, at the end of the last episode, we saw that the mission, like, failed. Like, Aaron wasn't in control. This episode is basically just, you know, Mika such trying to get through to him and it didn't work. Jean... Annie and Connie, you know, escaping Titans, and Armin was able to get through to him. That was kind of, that was kind of this whole episode. It doesn't seem like a whole lot for a full episode, but yeah, okay. So I'm kind of interested to see where this comes from. Aaron just kind of had his awakening, um, and he's back. So we are going to jump right into episode 13 and see what the deal is. Is it leaving Jean? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna swap out the gear. Oh my god, I can't imagine the pressure. Oh my god. Jean, just just run, dude. Just run. Nice, okay. Marco, hell yeah. Distracting him. Distracting uh, the Titan form. Nice. Man, Marco's a real one. Oh my god. Now you guys come. A little late, but alright. Funny, why would you not try to slice them, dude? Yeah, what the hell was that? No! No, 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 no. Okay, is Annie? Ooh! Okay, Annie, that was cool. That was nice. Oh my god, is it the Colossal Titan? Or the Armored Titan? Oh my god. Let's go! Is that the man carrying the boulder? 
Oh my god, that is the coolest shot I've ever seen. Oh my god, he's doing it. Let's go, Aaron. Nice. So Armin got through to him. Nice. Yeah. He's almost there. You guys just gotta clear out a couple Titans. Easy. Oh my god, Aaron looks so sick. So why aren't they going after humans now? They're going after Aaron for what? Okay, it just triggered the hell out of him. Why don't you use your gear? Are they out of juice? Yeah. What are they doing? Oh, so they're not following humans. They're not following the humans that are using gear. They're following the humans that are on the ground. Oh my god, that's even riskier. Oh my god, Aaron looks sick. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh wow, so he's 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 there. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was that was an insane kill. Uh, is that Sasha? Bro, is Sasha dying? No. Nice, good save. No! He just sacrificed himself to- Oh, that's so sad. That was the elite squad leader, wasn't it? Yeah, get it. Get a mix of Nice. God, that just looks so cool. Did he lose control again? His eyes are glowing. Nice. Nice! So he sealed the gate. Let's go! Nice, we got a win on the Titans. Yeah, first Titan dub, let's go! Did Aaron lose control there at the end though? Or is the eye glow just a visual effect? Like, someone had mentioned in the comments that the lightning was just a visual effect. Yeah, is that the same thing for the eye glow? Does the eye glow mean anything? Who was that? Oh, that's, um, that's Levi. Nice. I bet that was a fun day for them. Just seeing all those Titans die. Okay, so they captured a couple Titans. Dang, man. Yeah, at least it was worth it this time. But still. No. No! Dude, Marco was such a light. Marco was there for everyone and he was... Oh, and this hits even harder for Gene because he gave him that really nice motivational speech. Oh, he looks so bad. How did that happen? Marco. Crushed by some debris. Who is that? And wow, this is kind of the first time that we see any emotion out of Annie. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. How does he know that? I wonder where the dad is. He kind of just injected Aaron and dipped. Mm. That's trippy to think about. 
とにかく巨人をぶっ殺したいです Aaron looks a little crazy. I like it. <laughs> Even he's like, oh, okay, hell yeah. I don't have a good job. 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 I don't have a good Yeah, okay, so Aaron was able to wake up. Again, I'm not exactly sure what woke him up. Like I said before, it could have been a mix of all of those things. But he was able to carry the boulder, and those scenes with the, like his head pressed up against his shoulder is so nice. And props to whoever drew this, but like the cheek pressed against the shoulder and having it like smushed up was like a really nice detail. And again, I've noticed that that's also another common theme of the show. There's like a lot of nice details, like small details that I really like. And. I think the small details are what really make the show. And I've noticed a lot of small details in this show so far. And I think some of that comes with you guys being like, pay very close attention to these subtitles and close attention to this. And every single thing has intentionality behind it. So instead of like watching it for entertainment, I'm kind of like watching it to analyze it and be like, okay, does this have a hidden meaning? Most of the times, most of my theories kind of just end down like a rabbit hole and make absolutely no sense. Yeah, so in the end, Aaron was able to plug the hole、uh, with the boulder and he was able to join the Survey Corps.、Uh, Levi said he'd take him in. I don't really know what he's thinking.、Uh, he said that he wants to, I guess, watch him. He said if he goes, what, berserk, then he's going to kill him. But yeah, that was a really good episode. I don't really know where it goes from here, though.、Um, Aaron's joined the Survey Corps. Again, we didn't really get any answers to all of my questions from a couple episodes ago. Or from a couple of videos ago. But the commander of the Survey Corps, like, really seems to have the kind of the fill in on Aaron and his dad, and like, somehow knew that the basement had the secrets.、Um, maybe, maybe the commander knew、uh, Aaron's dad. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. Alright, l I hope y'all all have a good one.